Girls. Good evening. I am Raji Ramakrishnan from prasavinswai.blogspot.in. Today I am going to make more curry. More curry is a snack item prepared with rice flour and buttermilk or you can make rice batter fermented overnight. With that also you can make it. It should be a little bit tangy in taste. That's why we keep it for fermentation, the rice batter. Here the rice batter, I have kept it. It is watery. One cup of rice batter I have taken and one cup of water I have added. Salt is also added and kept it here. The ingredients for this, a greased plate you require. More milagai, that is two more milagai I have taken and uh, this is the more milagai. This I have broken into small pieces and few curry leaves, mustard seed, urad dal and the uh, asafoetida. Now oil, oil, gingerly oil we use for making this dish. I have added already 2 teaspoons of oil in the kadai. The kadai is hot. Now I will add the mustard seeds in it. Now goes the urad dal in this. Curry leaves. And the more milagai. As a fighty dough. Just fry this till it is done. It's a healthy and uh, tasty snack item which can be prepared very easily. You will uh, require only 15 minutes if you are preparing with the rice flour and buttermilk. The buttermilk should be a little bit of sour in taste. Now this is done. Now I am pouring this rice batter in this little by little. And continuously you have to stir it. Now cook the same till you get a stiff consistency. It will reduce and uh, it will form like a mass leaving the sides of the kadai. This is a very traditional recipe which is uh, prepared in the Brahmin family of South Indian household. Actually it is a forgotten recipe. Now I am bringing this for the younger generation to release, release this dish. My mother used to make this but my mother used to put uh, coconut bits in this because we used to like that and you can add green chili, ginger also in this if you wish for variation. Now see you can see that it is getting reduced and a uh, little bit of oil is required so in between we will add the oil. Around 2, tea, two, sp two teaspoon of oil you can add in this again. Cook 
this till you get the right consistency that is leaving the sides of the kadai to check whether it is cooked properly or not you dip your fingers in water it will get a glossy look when it is cooked properly so it starts leaving the kadai little more oil that is around 6 to 8 teaspoon of oil you can use for this for us to transfer this into the plate it is cooked properly now we can see so it is not sticking to your fingers so this is the right consistency for you to transfer it now let us switch off the flame and transfer this into the plate you can grease the plate and keep it ready now start spreading this for this you can take either a greased spoon or just dip the spoon in the water and start spreading this you can serve it along with uh, any kind of pickle or as it is the yield is around you can serve it for 2 to 3 people as a tea time snack item now after you have to keep it this for cooling down after half an hour you can cut it into desired shapes whether it is a um, square or uh, triangle and now i have already made and kept it here see this this is the consistency this is the piece it's ready thank you so much for watching this video and do give me your feedback on making this have a nice day thank you